This is a video of the 1961 MGA that is for sale. I thought I'd take a video because it's much easier than the thousands of uh, still pictures I've taken and I can zoom into all the problem areas and you'll know exactly what you're looking at. That's the uh, passenger side fender mount in the front. That's the lower side of the same fender mount. I do have the emblem. I do not know the condition of the heater core. There is the original VIN plate. I do have the ownership for the vehicles. It's a 1600 cc motor, the starter, generator, distributor, everything is on it. You can see the number there. There it has the two carburetors. I have no idea of the condition of the carburetors. The motor has not run, or at least I have not seen it run. There's the remain of the air boxes uh, for the uh, carburetor, air filters. Inside the hood, looking down at the apron. This is the driver's side fender inside. You can see daylight there on the back of it. This is the hood, been repainted and covered with some sort of black stuff. Not sure what it is. I have several hoods to choose from. Now looking at the driver's side fender mount. You can see right through it there. You can see the carburetor is on the other side. And that's the inner fender. It's also rotted through to the driver's compartment. Driver's side suspension. You can see it's a disc brake car. There's the caliper. Here's a very close up of the front. You can see there's a dent here. I have a new a new front uh, portion. Here's the view underneath. You can see it needs new boots. And the tire, of course, is flat.
the valence mount. I have two valences which are in poor condition. Fiberglass ones are available, aftermarket ones are available. And here's the passenger side, suspension, front end. I haven't had time to clean the crud off. Well, we'll work our way along the passenger side. I do have a replacement for this entire piece, left and right side. Now we'll get to the passenger side of the frame. Well, you can see that the sill has been cut off or rusted off. There's the frame. Rusted completely through on this side. That's a view up. View under the dash. While we're at it, uh, here's a view of the dash. It has all the instruments. I have no idea if they work or not. And I'm just catching the steering wheel there so you can see what it looks like. It's a four spoke wheel. Spokes aren't bent, but the rim needs work. So, more on the passenger side floor. It's wooden, of course, but it's been covered in fiberglass and the carpet was glued down. There were some repairs made in the back corner with the fiberglass. The wood itself, I've stood on it. I haven't gone through, but I would replace it. Somebody installed some very poor seat belt mounts. And once again, here's a view of the rust of the frame going from the back to the front. You can see the wooden floor there is rotted, but there is a frame rust. And we're back to where we were earlier, where it's rusted right through. The hump is covered in carpet. I haven't peeled it off. I do have a couple of pieces of metal there if they are bad. Center console is there. The shifter is there. It does go through all the gears. Um, I've pushed it around in neutral many times, too far too often than I wanted to. So we'll go over to the driver's side. I'm standing on the passenger floorboards now. I have the seats. I'll show you in a later on in the video. Same thing, poor seat belt mount. 
and rust in the very, very same places as on the passenger side. You can see, um, you can see the rust there on the frame. Some of those pieces are available, Moss Motors. You can see somebody has tried to do some repairs just to keep it alive. That was prior to my ownership. That's the footwell. The pedals are in there. I have spares if you need them. Cross member. It does have a hole rusted in it. It's, it's thin. Here's the door sill. The door is still attached to the sill. It's just swung open now. There is a nice bag for the windows, for the side curtains as they call them. Uh, still attached to the back. I'll flip it up. You can see the tire sack there. Anyway, there's the behind the driver's seat. And this is behind the passenger seat against the uh, against the wall. Some of the uh, components that are lower. Both battery boxes are there. Um, they are rusty. Most of them usually are. The fuel pump is there, no idea of the condition. I purchased the car to refurbish it with the frame on the 59 and uh, life got in the way. There's the rear suspension. The rear, oops. rear axle. Driver's side suspension. So we'll move along to the back of the car now. I'm going to get back out of the passenger side here now. It's up against the wall pretty tight. I can't get in the other side. So this is the top of the back deck. There's the boot or trunk lid. It has a rack on it. Chrome is reasonable. Could be polished up. Fenders are still attached to the, to the side of the tub. I haven't bothered to remove them. And 61 with the dual tail lights. I have the fuel tank for it. You'll see it in a moment. This is the interior of the trunk. I'll put the light on top and then I'll put it underneath so you can see where the holes are. There's some holes there in the corner, some holes there. That's the view where the spare tire goes through. Top of the rear passenger or driver's fender. Some holes right there in the driver's side. Spare tire mount. And here's a view on the inside of the rear.
Oh, well, here's the rear valance panel, bumper mounts. Threads need to be chased. Some holes there in the driver's rear fender. I'll put the light underneath. Set the light underneath the trunk so you can see where the holes are. The passenger door still has the wood trim on top of it. Salvageable, good for a pattern. The aluminum corner. The door itself is reasonable, although I do have six others to choose from. It's a non standard. <laughs> Padded uh, inner for the door, I would change it. The inside of the door. Can't get the light in there very well, but it's not bad. Rear tire is flat, they're disc wheels. And here's a view underneath. I don't know what we can see there, but you get some idea. You see the frame there. You can see the back trunk uh, bottom. See the axle. Some of the suspension mounts. I have the fuel tank for it. can't get out the fender bolts, so I have no idea what they're like. Uh, I don't know if you can see anything there, but that's the fender mounting area. It's probably rusty like the front, because the rubber that joins the two sometimes deteriorates. Uh, that's the best I can do for that area. I'll try to go along the passenger side, but it's up tight against the closer wall. So, there's the rear fender mounted on the driver's side. You can see there's some holes there, so I would guess that there's uh, probably similar condition to the front. And we're just catching the frame there now. You can see the sill and the uh, are completely missing, although I do have spares. Driver's door, same as the passenger's door, usable. Wood trim, uh, funny liner. You can see it still swings on the hinges. Perfect, but pretty darn good. And that's the front driver's side fender area. So you can see the rust there in the bottom. Every one of these panels is available. If not, they're not too hard to make because they're very simple shapes. And we're back to the driver's side front, um, front fender mount. You can see the top is, is rusted through there with the fender mounts. And uh, that's about it for this car. Windshield wiper motor arms are there. I have arms. And the windshield wiper motor, of course, is installed there. Anyway, that's the 1961 MGA.